Well, hello, happy campers. Today, we're gonna talk tools. <laughs> uh, I wanna show you some of the tools that we think are important to bring along on our journeys with our travel trailer here as we prepare to go on a nice long trip. And boy, is the sun in my eyes. It's a, it's a beautiful fall day. So here we go. Let's start with the number one thing. Um, all of the tools I wanna to talk about use this same battery. And the reason we've chosen this is it's universal. Buy it at Home Depot. Uh, there's a million different tools that work with it. So uh, it's a Ryobi 18 volt battery. Uh, this is a newer one. You can see the power level on it and all that. It's kind of cool. All right. So the first thing that we started with was the, oops. So I'll show you because I'll use the same battery on all the tools, the electric drill. And you might say, well, okay, why do you need a drill when you're camping? I'll show you. This, uh, this three quarter inch socket uh, allows me to raise and lower the jacks in short order. And you know, the faster your trailer is settled and level, the quicker you can get into the beer. So that's the first thing and that's what justified, that's what started the addiction. Uh, the next thing is this inflator. And I really like this little thing because uh, you can blow up air mattresses and water toys and such with this side. But the best part of this is, and you know, you always should check your tires before every journey. Uh, on the other side here, there's a digital readout and you can set the inflation pressure that you want so you just, I don't know if you can see that or not. Well, if you can, that means you can. And if you can't, guess what? That means you can. So here's 65. That's what our tires are supposed to be. I went a little too nuts there, but 65 is where our tires are supposed to be. Just attach this to your tire and push the button and it'll inflate. It'll stop when it gets to the inflation pressure and all that. So it's really handy to have this on the road. And it's small and again, same battery all right sound like a pitch man here ladies and gentlemen does the radio in your trailer suck because ours does and the worst part of it isn't how it sounds the worst part of the radio in our trailer is trying to remember how to get to this mode and change the volume in the out it, it's a piece of garbage honestly uh so same battery Bluetooth radio and then this one also has the ability to have like I have an iPod attached to it believe it or not we still have one uh, and it's nice because it has a charging port USB port so you can do an aux in or Bluetooth with your phone tablet whatever uh, and also AM FM radio so if you're out on the road and you want to catch whatever the heck radio station or near you it's good to have that this is one of the newer tools where on the back you can just plug it into the wall outlet if you have 110 or use the same battery again same battery um lights i love lanterns and uh this is my favorite one and again this one has that new feature where you can plug it into 110 or the lantern this thing is bright even with the sun shining, it's got multiple levels of brightness. It's got this little hook on top. So we hook it to our lantern stand, which is convenient. Uh, there's a magnet there. So I guess you'd use it in your shop. Uh, it's, it's a nice, you know, you can flip this different ways, spin it around. So it's pretty flexible. It really lights up a campground nicely and the battery lasts a long time. We also have this little lantern. This is just batteries. And again, two settings. It's decently bright, hangs from stick or whatever. Then 
This was touted when I bought it as the brightest light in the store. Uh, I don't think it is anymore. It's, I believe it's a halogen bulb. And so it's all the disadvantages of a halogen bulb. It warms up slowly, it gets hot, and it eats the batteries. But it's still pretty decent. And boy, if you need a spotlight, like where is that bear? Don't go hunting bear with a flashlight. But you know what I mean. You can spot stuff out there. So this thing. Uh, the reason I bring fans is because I really need self-esteem. No, um, the reason I bring fans, I can put, two, I have two of these and I can put them kind of on either side of where we're gathering outdoors. If there's mosquitoes anywhere near us, they're eating me. It's, I am like the mosquito magnet. Uh, so if I, when I put these two, it actually seems to mitigate that. So, uh, and plus, you know, on a day like today, it keeps you kind of cool and it is a little bit hot out here. So you can probably tell. Okay, so. Ball jar, right? Everybody whose grandma or ma or even you did some canning knows what this is. It's your standard everyday garden variety ball jar. So I found out, oh, it's a brand new one. I found out that this thread happens to be, happens to be the same thread as the bottom of an Oster blender. And so I thought to myself, self, I could take ball jars and premix smoothies, margaritas, whatever I wanted, have them in the freezer or in the refrigerator, wherever I want. Take our original electric drill. Let's take off the three quarter inch nut because I'm gonna show you something else that's nuts. Okay, so we've got a driver here. We've got a little blender that's good for the road. Um, it's worked pretty good. I, I had my smoothie this morning. I trying to lose some of the tonnage and I uh, been drinking smoothies in the morning and I made my smoothie with this and by gosh it worked <laughs> really well. So if you like boondocking but you're like well phooey I still need a blender. Greatest invention ever. Well besides the booze that goes in it. So there you go. That's my roundup of tools that we like for the camper. There's also a battery powered shop vac that I forgot to bring out. So it's just a shop vac. It's not that exciting. This is exciting. Happy camping. All right, everybody. Well, I'm, uh, I'm back in our recording studio today because it's a day that we're going to do a podcast. But I wanted to let you know I tested the electric drill blender. Works. So this is a smoothie I made this morning and some spinach and some fruit and milk, soy milk and uh, some yogurt. Boy, that's just way too healthy, but eh, it is what it is and I like it. And uh, the electric drill blender works. All right, have fun.